Alright, so hi guys! Um, I haven't filmed in a while. It feels like I haven't filmed in a while. It's probably because, yes, I haven't filmed in a while and today that I'm filming this and it's gonna go up probably, hopefully, in the next few days. Um, it's two days before the eve of um, um, Idol Fitri. Um, so I'm really, really busy. I've been busy the past week. Spring cleaning my house, baking cookies. If you follow me on Instagram and twit or Twitter, you'll probably see me put up pictures of my of me baking all the stuff. Yes, it's handmade by me. Um, <laughs> and I need to hire security guards to get my brothers away from my cookies because if not, there would be none left. They're cookie monsters. For real. Cookie monsters exist and they're in the form of brothers. Yeah. So anyways, I just wanted to do this quick um, video. I have a, I'm going to tell you that I have a massive, massive, massive haul. The Great Singapore Sale has not been kind to me. I have been, you know, I surrendered to temptation and I've been like slowly accumulating a lot of stuff. Um, and it's things that I really love every single one of them. It's, they're very individual pieces on its own, things that I I wanted to try, things that I've been having my eye on and just wanted something from that particular style or things like that. So this first part is going to be featuring um, beauty products uh, because I have a humongous e.l.f. haul. This is my first ever e.l.f. haul and um, thank you so much to Covered Girl SG. Um, Hadija, you are such a doll for um, just telling me that you're gonna buy stuff and if I wanted to go along with you and I'm so happy it got in time before um, Eid um, is here. In preparation for Eid, I did get a lot of stuff. I also got some stuff from Sephora and a couple of like knickknacks from Daiso and other things amongst other things. I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna try and go through this really really quickly. So yeah, let's get cracking. Um, one of the first thing is this I got this from a beauty language store, I think in Tampanese one. It's the Batiste Dry Shampoo. I really like it for days when I don't really want to, I don't really want to over shampoo my hair and you know because shampooing makes your scalp drier and things like that so just when you need a refresher then this is really good. Um, I haven't tried this scent um, which is the Cool and Crisp Fresh scent. This is about six dollars. Um, smells kind of it does smell a little bit refreshing um i have the other version which is the green color can but that i put that at work in my office so in case when i need to a little bit of sprucing before i go out and meet my friends for dinner or something then i'll have something there yes what about food as well as um i went into daiso and i got myself a pair i got myself i got myself a pair um two pairs of two boxes actually two boxes of um eyelash eyelashes, fake eyelashes. I don't know why and I, when, I, when I put this out I realized that I have a box that I got from Hong Kong and I haven't even worn them. Yes, and we'll see how successful I am in wearing them. This year I had such a hard time wearing them last year but I feel that it does make a difference when you're all gussied up in your baju kebaya and things like that. And I'll try to do a fashion vlog on what I wore for Hari Raya because it was requested uh, it has been requested and it did get quite a bit of um, a good response. I would say last year when I did like um, a lookbook of my Hari Raya, I'll link it down below in case anybody is wondering what is my traditional costume and I what I wear traditionally um, for Eid. Yes. And then on to Sephora. I went to Sephora because I wanted to get, um, as you all, as some of you might know, I'm, I'm healing from chicken pox. As you can tell, I still have like a mark here. It looks like a beauty mark. Now I'm trying to play up the whole thing. But yes, um, and I was recommended by my friends who, some I have like some friends who are makeup artists and they were saying that if I wanted to um, allow my skin to heal at the same time, have a little bit of cover up, I should get um, a mineral foundation or mineral powder. So I got myself a Bare Minerals powder. This is, I can't believe I actually bought one and it's in golden medium. It's a W20. That's the colour I am because as you can see, I'm a really, really tan and bronzy girl. 
So yeah, um, I got this, and then at the same time as I was going out to the till, I saw <laughs> a travel size version of the Urban Decay uh, Primer Potion. I have the Primer Potion in Sin as well as have the really really small. Um, travel size version from my Naked palette but I wanted a slightly bigger one because I felt that the one in the the one that they get, that comes free with the Naked palette is a little bit um, watery so I don't know whether it's because it's been too long from the you know storage and I just wanted to compare it with the consistency of this although I must say that this is definitely a really really good primer compared to any other drugs drug drugstore drug store primer that I've ever tried before. This is the best. I don't know how it compares to Too Faced Shadow Insurance uh, but I'm really liking the Urban Decay one so far. So that's that from Sephora. And then now on to my elf haul. Yes. Oh my goodness. I really really got like a lot of stuff. Um, I stocked up on all my brushes. Basically I got um, three of different kinds. I got three of the eyeshadow brush because this is an amazing brush. Yep, you can see it has been, um, I don't know what's that but it's okay. Anyway, um, this is an amazing sh eyeshadow brush and I really love it. I would definitely stock up on it. So I have. Um, and because e.l.f. was having a 50% off, the e.l.f. UK site was having a 50% off, um, so we decided to go on there. I really want to try buying it from the US website because I don't know why in my mind it seems that the US website after the exchange rate and everything else it seems cheaper but I'll have to leave that for another time. Anyway, so then I got the eye defining brush. I really love this brush. It's an angled brush, really soft and it's perfect for the crease area when you want to do a um, smoky look. It's really really good. Um, it really blends the, the eyeshadow out and it fits just nicely if you want to have that cat eye look so that is really really good um, at the same time I bought the I bought two contour brushes now I bought this under the impression that I actually have one contour brush but apparently I have the angled um, angled contour brush and not the flat ones so I haven't really tried these before um, but hopefully it'll be good it's it's a round oh it's a round tip brush um, it's quite dense, so I think it will be quite good in the crease area as well. Um, I prefer to use the defining eye brush when I want to have like a winged out, um, smoky look. But if I'm blending things, then I think this might be a really, really good brush to play around with. And because I, as I said, um, I bought the Bare Minerals foundation, I wanted a, you know, you have to get a mineral powder brush to pick up to pick up um, the what do you call that the powder I was gonna say dust I don't know why in my mind I was like to pick up the dust but no it's not dust um, to pick up yeah the powder that's inside so and I didn't want to use any of the denser brushes the face brushes that I have because it won't really pick it won't do a good job of picking it up so I asked my friend um, Hadija who is covergirl.sg. I'll put her blog in, in the down bar below. You can go and check her out. She's a really, really awesome um, beauty blogger. Um, and she recommended that I get the Kabuki face brush, which is good for that. So we'll try it out. Um, I, 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 one of my friends actually bought this and it was really, really soft. Um, so this is going to be dedicated for my Bare Minerals foundation. I don't want to mix them. So this is for that. This is for that. Hmm. And then I went gaga over blushes. I really wanted to try different blushes because I have been using very peachy based br um, blushes. Um, I have the MAC Spring Sheen blah, 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 blah. MAC Spring Sheen Blush. Can't talk today. I don't know why. Because I think I'm just trying to rush everything. So I have that. And then I wanted a... Um, I have a pinky blush from Silky Girl. And then that's about it. Those are the blushes. I'm, most of my blushes are very peach based blushes and I wanted to you know expand my blush repertoire. I suppose you could say that by having a different colored blush. Um, I have been eyeing the blushes from Sleek. The I think it's called Blush by 3 palettes um, but I haven't gotten my hands on them um, and since I was ordering stuff from e.l.f. I thought I'll try the e.l.f. blushes. 
So I have four, two big blushes. Um, this is the Rich Rose blush, which is um, um quite a bronzy blush. It's like a dark. Is it what would you call it? A dark. It's quite. It's quite bronzy. Um, I know the light is washing it out. So yeah, so it looks like that. So, yep. Um, it's really, really nice. And then I have the other blush, which is Passion Pink. Um, I, I was also looking for a slightly pinkier blush because I tend to have very um, peach tone, gold tone blushes and I wanted something pink. So I thought I'd just try this out. It is very um, iridescent. This is a pink tone one. So, it was really hard trying to pick blushes because I wasn't sure um, as to whether um, it would suit my face, you could say, because I am quite tan. But, well, let's, let's hope for the best that it goes well. Um, I heard a lot of good reviews about the big blushes, so yeah. And then got two more blushes, one is in Blushing Rose and the other one is Peachy Keen. You must be wondering why I bought Peachy Keen when I've complained, I'm complaining that I have too much peach blaze, peach and coral based blushes. Now, um, I actually got this um, primarily, I think I'm going to give it away to my brother's girlfriend. It's very, very sheer. I think it's quite sheer. She's, she's fairer than me. I think this would go well on her skin. It'll give like a very natural blush. Um, it reminds me of the Hot Mama, although Hot Mama, I realise now it has a slightly more pinkier tone, but in you know at first glance it looks pretty similar. So yeah, the other one is Blushing Rose. Um, I realise that Blushing Rose, it is pretty similar to Rich Rose. Um, let me just show you guys. So yeah, this is. Blushing Rose and this is Rich Rose. So sort of the same. This is slightly darker. Um yeah. But along the same lines. Um so I think and this has a gold undertone to it. Um, it has gold it's gold specks, iri iridescence. Can't really see. But I love the packaging, it's very Nas-ish. Um, has a mirror and everything. These two I definitely want to try because I've heard so much about them and yeah, I got them in like slightly different colors. I, I, I'm pretty confident that the rose based ones are gonna look good on me because I have, I'm quite tan. The pink one I'm not too sure but hopefully it'll go. Um, and this one is gonna go to my brother's girlfriend. I'm gonna give her this. If you're watching then you know what you're gonna get. So yeah, that's it for my beauty um, haul, quite a lot, I feel that it is quite a lot. Um, yeah, so until my next video, bye guys!